Hello, in today's video, I'll show you how the aggregation works in MongoDB. So first of all, what is an aggregation? Aggregation is an operation used to process data records in MongoDB in order to return computed results. Every aggregation pipeline includes multiple stages that are used to filter, group, or modify the documents based on the specific criteria. Before I show you an example in MongoDB aggregation, I want to show you the document schema in this collection. The collection that I'm using in this video is Docs Collection, which I have created myself, and here in the Mongo shell you can see a sample of the document. Every document in the collection contains 13 main fields. Special Requirements field and Diet fields are two arrays, whereas Owner and Expenses fields are two embedded documents. Other fields in this collection are either numbers or strings. So, for demonstration purposes, I have decided to use question 9 from my report. The question asks to show the minimum, maximum, average, and total grooming expenses for all type of poodle breed dogs that were born in 2012 or later and are not gold color. For every type of poodle breed, we need to show maximum, minimum, average, and total grooming expenses. So first, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show the individual documents using an aggregation query. So this aggregation query is not really necessary for this question. However, I'm using the query just to verify that the computed results of the main query are correct. So this query contains three main stages. First stage match basically filters down the documents based on the requirements of the question. Second stage shows only the relevant fields in the output. And then the third stage sorts the documents based on the breed type. So as you can see here, there are five documents in total, and we have three different Poodle breed types. So it's Poodle Miniature, Poodle Standard, and Poodle Toy. The main aim of the main aggregation query is to show the maximum, minimum, average, and total grooming expenses for every type of Poodle breed. For example, if we look at these two documents, we can clearly see that the minimum expenses for this type of breed is 33, and the maximum expenses for this type of breed is 36. The average is equals to 34.5, and the total value of grooming expenses is 69. So when we run the main aggregation query, we expect to see the same result in the output. So here we have the main aggregation query, and as you can see in the Mongo shell, we have a summary here. So for Poodle standard type of breed, we have maximum grooming expenses equal to 36, minimum grooming expenses to 33, Average grooming expenses equals to 34.5 and the total expenses equal to 69. So basically what has happened in this aggregation query, there is an additional stage included, which is group. This stage allows to group the documents based on the specific criteria. For example, here you can see that the documents are grouped by the breed type, which is Poodle Miniature, Poodle Standard and Poodle Toy, and then calculations are performed for every breed. So hope you have enjoyed this video and you have a clear idea of how degradation works in the MongoDB.